All right, well, we are dealing with nice dry conditions, dry roads for any traveling you had to do today. There is a disturbance that we've been talking about for the past couple of days that gets close to Kentucky, but it really doesn't affect us, which is good news because we still really would like to have more days where we can just completely dry out. That's going to really help a lot of those water levels to begin to kind of go down and recede. Most locations across the Kentucky River will be either getting down below flood stage either by this afternoon or all the way through the day tomorrow. So that is good news. We're almost there, but we still have, I know, a lot of cleanup and devastation to kind of take shape uh, that will be taking shape over the next weeks and maybe even months. So the good news is nice dry conditions for us today. That low pressure system does not bring us any rain. It keeps it a little bit further southwest of us, pushing toward the Memphis area, as you see right now. Temperatures across the region are very cold this morning. We have a clear sky. We have all of that radiational cooling taking shape. So all the heat from yesterday we got into the mid 50s that escaped, of course, and we're down into the 20s. Now, as we head into this afternoon, there's a few wispy cirrus clouds that may be moving over western and southern Kentucky, but we'll stay dry again and mostly cloud free. Saturday and Sunday both look to be very similar situations. We just really have had a really great stretch of weather this week. Even a couple of warm days pushing up into the upper 50s it was the mid 50s yesterday. Today will turn a little bit cooler, but notice I just really like the looks of this map. Lots of zeros across the board as far as rain chances go. Once we push into mid next week, Wednesday and Thursday, 20 and 30% chance. I think we can handle that. The temperatures will be again cooler today. We have that northwest flow sending some uh, cooler temperatures our direction. The coldest of the air is up around New York, Maine. They can keep it. We'll uh, need the coats this morning as you're heading out the door. A little bit of frost out there as well, so you might have to do some windshield scraping. But as we get closer into and through the weekend and then past the weekend coming up on Monday, we start to see the 50s returning. So a high pressure system south of Texas will push some of that warmth up into the Midwest and then eventually everything kind of pushes east getting to us by Monday and then we're looking at the 60s coming up by mid next week. Today high around 46 degrees, obviously a cold start chilly afternoon, but it will feel decent in the sunshine if you have a jacket or a coat northeast winds and then your forecast highs across the state. Maybe the mid and the upper 40s for southern Kentucky, but eastern Kentucky you're looking at potentially the low to the mid 40s for tonight. Lows dropping off again, just as cold as right now down around 22 degrees. Even colder actually northwest winds 3 to 5 miles per hour, but through the 8 day forecast again beautiful stretch of weather, so it just continues. We'll be going on nearly two weeks of straight dry conditions. Highs tomorrow around 45 degrees 47 on Sunday back up into the mid 50s on Monday. Then we push into the low to the mid 60s next week. That's going to feel more spring like, but it does come with a couple of showers late next week.